All right, welcome back. It is time now for our community update. And joining us this morning is Appleton Mayor Jake Woodford. Good morning. Good morning. And thank you for joining us. To start, Mayor, the Fox City's COVID-19 vaccination clinic starts today at the Exhibition Center for residents 65 and older. Tell us about it. Yeah, so this uh, clinic is a partnership among many local jurisdictions, uh, City of Appleton, City of Menasha, uh, Outagamie County, Calumet County, and Winnebago County, two of our major healthcare systems in Theta Care and Ascension, and then a a number of smaller clinics in the community, uh, including Primary Care Associates, Kakana Clinic, and others. Uh, so this really is a, a community-wide effort to get a, a community vaccination center up and running. And so there was a bit of an error in the system that allowed a few more people to register after the cutoff. Um, you've contacted those people so far, so what are the next steps? So our partners at Outagamie County worked through the weekend to contact those who have an appointment this week and uh, they, they called to confirm their appointment times. Uh, the, the county also sent emails to all registrants uh, with information about scheduling appointments and uh, just want to remind folks to check uh, your inbox uh, or your junk or spam folders uh, just to, to make sure you're not missing any emails from uh, the clinic or out of Gamey County. Um, but anyone who signed up and doesn't have an appointment this week uh, will be contacted to schedule an appointment uh, in the coming weeks and uh, the clinic will be working to get everybody who registered vaccinated as, as quickly as possible. But, you know, this issue really still comes down to vaccine availability. Uh, you know, we have a, a facility here that can handle high volumes of people and um, it'll continue to be the limiting factor for us. I mean, you heard all the partners that are involved um, we're, we're ready to, to operate this clinic, but we need the doses to support that operation. So that, that'll continue to be our challenge here, but we, we have a clinic that uh, is, is ready to go and, and actually uh, starts, starts its work today, uh, working its way through the first, uh, first thousand uh, registrants. All right, let's switch gears. While Sunday's shooting incident at the Fox River Mall happened in Grand Chute, how was Appleton involved in the response? That's a good question. I mean, it, it did happen outside of the city of Appleton's jurisdiction, but um, you know, we, we have strong partnerships with our neighbors and, and when they need our help, uh, we do whatever we can to assist and, and they do the same for us. You know, we call this mutual aid and uh, it's, it's really a hallmark of uh, life here in the Fox cities that our communities really do look out for one another. Uh, so we had dozens of police department and fire department personnel on the scene. Uh, you know, and there's actually another uh, Fox Cities asset that's Appleton based uh, that, that responded and, and that was Valley Transit. Uh, Valley Transit actually sent four buses out to the scene uh, to help shelter and transport people. Uh, you know, there were a lot of people who were um, stuck in the mall waiting for uh, the police to come through and, and clear. Uh, so as, as they did, uh, they needed transportation and shelter and, and Valley Transit was also there to support. How do you think it affected the community? Well, I, I, I think that anytime we have a, a tragic incident like this, um, where, where uh, there's certainly gun violence involved in a public place, it's a, it's a reminder of, uh, of how fragile uh, life is, how fragile our way of life is, and um, and it's unfortunate that, you know, we've come to a place as a community where, you know, people, people know what to do in those situations um, because we've heard about it, we've seen it, we've experienced it in our, in our community. And um, yeah, it, it really is a, it's a tragic event for our community and it happens far too often. All right, well, Appleton Mayor Jake Woodford, thank you so much for coming on today. We appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. And up next, people swarming into Tampa for Super Bowl 55. And with the COVID-19 pandemic still happening, many are turning to Tampa's outdoors for the pre-Super Bowl experience. We'll be back after the break.